Hi, my name is Olga and it is expert on tax. Today, I have the special guest, <laughs> Adrian, and we'll talk Hello. about cooperation across the time zones. So let's start. Let's start. Tell a few words about yourself, please. About your project. And my project, sure. I'm front-end engineer working in Leaky from the very beginning. It's I start... Five years or eight years? Yeah, it might be, yeah, it might be. But I started my career as a, a graphic designer. Wow. And I was, you know, preparing layouts, uh, web layouts for two years and these kind of things. And I smoothly change into front-end uh, because, you know, my colleagues needs to uh, work on some simple stuff like HTML, CSSs, etc. So I, you know, I was bored after these two years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I thought that maybe it will be something great to, to learn new stuff. And cool. Yeah, and that's where I am. So you're not bored anymore? No, 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 you know. <laughs> Since you've become <laughs> front-end developer? Yeah, uh, you know, I don't want to tell anything uh, bad about being graphic designer, but uh, working as a developer is forcing me to learn every day new stuff. Because, you know, if you'll stop, then you are, get, you know, making steps back instead of uh, being at the same level. Mm -hmm. And you will fast become outdated. Exactly. And what about your project? I'm working in Note. This is a company which tried to make the uh, largest in the world B2B market, chemical marketplace. I'm working uh, with uh, people from different countries, uh, from different time zones. So it's really interesting thing. It is American company, right? It is. So it is the reason of your American accent. Uh, maybe. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I learn English basically during working on, on this particular project. When, uh -huh. I, when I started, I remember that uh, last time I was, I was using language uh, on my studies and I forgot almost everything. On the first dailies, uh, I was prepared like, I, I wrote my dailies on, on a paper, every sentence that I wanted to tell. Uh, and trust me, it was like, cold, cold days for me. Uh, I was very stressed, uh, my language was terrible. And you know, after four years, I didn't have any lessons. It was just about a uh, talking project. And you cooperate with people from different uh, countries and time zones. Yeah, uh, like uh, obviously US, no matter what uh, side of US, East Coast, West Coast, India, Germany, uh, so basically uh, people from Europe. So, you know, it's really difficult to manage this, uh, you know, work with that many different time zones. Yeah, it's from... crazy difference in time zones. Yeah, and different, you know, <laughs> all these differences um, in culture also. It's, it's you, you really need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with all of I just learn it. It's... <laughs> 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 yeah, simple, right? Uh, it was really hard at the beginning because you you had to used to it and kind of plan how you'll be working with them to make that work uh, comfortable for everybody. You need to pl organize your work. Uh, you need to be really flexible to prepare all of that uh, to make everybody happy. Because otherwise, you know, um, after some time, people can be in a place that they will be just tired of working uh, on with really odd hours, um, etc. Mm -hmm. What are the main challenges for you personally? For me, it's to have a really good work balance because for me, the most important part in my life is my family. And uh, so I don't want to feel them that I'm only focused on my work. I, I need to set some boundaries where that, you know, let's say for some part of the day, I'm really focused on, on, on work and nothing can distract me. And after, you know, working hours, I really want to focus on my family, play with kids, spend time with wife, 
and do some home stuff as a husband, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, developers are also husbands sometimes. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that you deal with with all of that uh, successfully. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, you know, I don't want to opinionate myself, but somebody else should judge me. Okay, but <laughs> I have information that you <laughs> do that successfully. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> do you use some special tools or life hacks to set your boundaries and to work with international team? Mm, for us. If we want to talk, for example, what are the special tools to manage our project, I can count, let's say, three main tools. First one is tool to manage uh, properly our project. In our case, it's Jira, uh, where you know we are organizing our tickets, uh, how sprints will look like. Some manage me me measure tools can tell us immediately about uh, risk in projects. Uh, second tool is Slack. I can't imagine working without a uh, you know, chat tool where uh, I can just call somebody, I can uh, make some video call. Uh, there are many integration tools, uh, integration applications that uh, are notifying me about different things mm -hmm. so I can react really quickly. Uh, and uh, I believe the main one <laughs> is Simple calendar. To be honest, I I was a you know paper, I was paper version. <laughs> not really, <laughs> because it 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 will not gives us the notifications. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's problem. <laughs> exactly, but you know I was really avoiding using a calendar app for a uh, long term in the and in the past because I uh, I really like to be organized by myself uh, to to know where I have. Uh, anything but right now working in my current um, let's say sub team we need to schedule different calls uh, daily basis so without proper notifications where some, from time to time we can we have to also uh, move these calls by one or two hours reschedule call to another day so you know remembering about all these changes is it's impossible right impossible exactly and uh, without notifications uh, calendar up where right now i need to organize working day uh comparing to my you know private stuff it's it's the most important thing in my opinion right now do you usually use synchronous or asynchronous communication when you're recording some videos at night <laughs> <laughs> for people to watch it in the morning. I mean, I believe both. And both communication types are really important because obviously we want to be as much asynchronous as possible because everybody is trying to respect our working hours. Mm -hmm. So everything that can give us uh, this type of communication, recording, like you said, recording videos, uh, making screenshots, even leaving audio messages, writing proper documentation, proper ticket descriptions, can uh, you know place us in a uh, situation where we understand everything and we can just work without uh, need to communication to communicate synchronously, but obviously also synchronous communication will not cannot be replaced. Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody will miss something, don't understand some uh, crucial part uh, in new feature, it's much simpler to just step in into a quick call, mm -hmm. clarify details, and and start working on it instead of chatting by two or three days, because we have to remember that if I'm talking and uh, clarifying some things in, 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 in some ticket with people from US, I'll put message for him, uh, let's say during my working hours, and I have to wait for response. So, you know, that communication, asynchronous communication, even if we are using live chat, it's happening, you know, it can it, it can uh, take few days to to clarify mm -hmm. whatever it's needed. Isn't it annoying when somebody sends you a large, giant audio message? <laughs> Not at all, because no? like I said, it can save us uh, time. He's recording uh, that video even long to help me to, me to because he's respecting my working hours. Maybe thanks to that video, where I'll spend 
I don't know, even 10 minutes to watch it. I, you know, we have also advantages of, of uh, making these videos because if I'll not, uh, I don't need to remember all of that. I can, uh, you know, um, jump to another, you know, beginning of that video, watch it again to make sure that I'm, I understand everything. So it has a lot of advantages in my opinion. Why companies decide to work with international team? So two reasons. First of all, we have really great engineers in Poland uh, and nobody will never complain. Second, say, um, cost saving, something like that, because uh, if we'll compare Polish and US developer, you'll see the difference. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. How to avoid odd hours, which lead to burnout when you're working at night, working in early morning, mm -hmm. and to... you need to set boundaries. For me, it's really simple because I have my family. That's my you know main priority. Priority, exactly. Like I said before, if I know that. I'm not distracted during my workday. The same I need to live like uh, when I'm stepping out from my desk. Then I need to be fully focused on my family. I want to spend, you know, uh, spend really efficient time with them, playing some board games, watch some movies, cartoons, whatever. And so when I'm focused on them, it's really easy to not think about project. Mm -hmm. So that's my case, but definitely you need to set really uh, good boundaries. Do you have some pieces of advice for <clears throat> people who are just starting their way in international cooperation? So it's really a um, few things. It's really similar to remote work where you have to set boundaries. You have to use some tools that will help you uh, working with uh, people that you cannot meet in office. Good communication, it's a key. You have to describe what what's happening in your project because, you know, another side need to understand what's happening and also uh, plan their work. And also you need to be flexible from time to time and dedicated because from time to time you'll need to work the whole day. If something will happen, to cooperate uh, in a different time zone for you uh, to work with people from US, for example. But we are not, we are trying to not make it like a habit. Mm -hmm. But I think that working all day, if something happens, it's, it's coming. It, <laughs> yeah, it's coming for every developer, <laughs> not I, only during international cooperation. I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've talked about remote work. How long do you work remotely? I'm working remotely for one year. I started just before pandemic and it really I helps it's me. It's more than one year already. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I didn't count it. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for me, it was helpful. Uh, because I moved to village and I was planning to be in office one or twice per week. But that whole situation forced me to work, to work fully remotely. So I really had to use to it really quickly and uh, learn it because it for me it was process. You know, working remotely, you need to care about mental and physical condition because you know you are you are spending almost half of that of your day, even more maybe, uh, at your desk. So you need to force after the work your body to to move to do something healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's for example soccer, football. Depend of, you know... <laughs> on the country. <laughs> depend of the country. Uh, gardening and obviously my family. Uh, you know, I can't be bored <laughs> with them. <laughs> Catching your kids <laughs> to run away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's really important nowadays to take care about mental health and just health, health. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, it's really important. I think we can finish our talk, unfortunately. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for it this talk. Pleasure. It was great. 
and uh, see you next time in the next episode. You can also visit our frontendhouse.com website to watch more videos. Thank you. Thank you. So see you soon. Bye. See ya. <laughs>